flight departed at 12.50. I thought I had almost two hours left, but I'm sitting down, just ordered my Qdoba burrito, and realized on my phone it was after 12.50. I missed my flight. Then I got an email saying the flight was delayed 20 minutes. Boarding right now, where I would have left Darren, just stranded. Oh man, totally would have missed my flight. How's it going? How are you? Real life. Darren. I flew from Dallas, Fort Worth, to here in Brownsville, and my luggage was sent to Scotland. You said you have two of them? Yeah, two kites. And that's all that was in the bag? Two kites, two harnesses, two bars and lines, my life jacket, water booties, my helmet. Patience, can I have you go ahead and write your address, and I'm also going to need a delivery address. When, well, when the do you think you'll get there? I'm not quite sure. So instead of going to South Padre Island, where we're gonna be kiting, oh, it's a good van. It was sent to Scotland. I was explaining to them that I was going kiting for the weekend. Only had a couple days. It's not like I needed toiletries and clothes. I needed my kite gear. It's like $3,000 worth of stuff. They said they were going to comp me and get me a brand new kite, which I was feeling a little better about. <laughs> that changes things. And then right as they were about to confirm that they were going to buy me new kite gear, someone pulled it off the plane to Scotland and rerouted it to Brownsville. So now they're gonna ship it to us tonight. In the meantime, Darren got this utility van. This can drive us onto the beach, carry our kite stuff. Now we're going out to kite. South Padre. Last one's here, just camping out in the U-Haul on the beach. Yeah, right. just kidding. Look at how gorgeous this is. This is where we are. Some say it's a kiter's paradise. Oh shoot. Just 
here at Pizza Hut brainstorming how we're gonna get the van out. been decided. Track Grabber. If you YouTube Track Grabber or how to get a car out with webbing and a pipe or a 2x4, that's what we're going to try tomorrow morning. Good morning everyone. It's day two of our kiteboarding trip. We slept in until 9.30, which is kind of nice. And here's our place. Pretty great, right? The beach here is actually kind of ugly on this side, on the bay side, but it is perfect for guiding. Yeah, I am so tired. We're walking because we don't have a car. Because it's stuck. We're on our way to Ace Hardware right now to get some supplies to remove the van. We from... assume it's still stuck. Who knows, there may be a good Samaritan who came along and unstuck it for us. Or when the tide went out, maybe it took all the sand. Hopefully our Doritos are still there. These are all variables we don't know. Yeah, it's got to be a tow. Telling you guys, this is gonna work. It's gonna work. I didn't get footage of it, but we ended up rigging webbing around the tires here and then put in a pipe to kind of give it more leverage and grip. It's supposed to grip the sand and pull it out. In every YouTube video we checked, even guys in like Saudi Arabia getting out of sand, it didn't work for us. Thankfully the guy with the Jeep came. Finally we got it out, we had to take a power nap because we were exhausted from digging and pushing all morning. And it's a beautiful day. Beautiful day for kiting, so we're not gonna go out. clean out the van and our gear and pack up for our early flights tomorrow. It's been a good one. I feel pretty good about it. You feel good about it? Oh yeah. Can't even tell she was stuck and left overnight on the beach. Funny story, we came to the car wash and actually ran into the guys that gave us a lift last night in their truck. So they were happy to see that we got it out.